Hello and welcome to our introduction to Gauge r and module. I'm Herb Robbins and I will be describing this for you. Here at Robbins International, we continue to provide information to businesses that is vital to your continued success. Measurement system analysis is a critical initial step in identifying opportunities to reduce variation. We recommend that you review our white belt program to better understand associated tools and concepts. This video will explain the basics behind Gauge there are two types of data. Attribute data is data which can be put into categories. This type of data is counted. Items such as pass fail and low, medium, high are considered attribute data. Anyone who has answered a survey and rated something on a scale of 1 to 5 is using attribute data. Those are five distinct categories. The other type of data is variables data. This is also referred to as continuous data as the possibility of this measurement data can be infinite. Height distance and time are all types of variables data. Here are some key definitions for this module. MSA or measurement system analysis can be performed using either a Kappa study for attributes data or gauge r and for variables data. The goal in reducing variation is to create a measurement system where each operator can repeat themselves consistently and different operators can reproduce similar results. Accuracy relates to differences from the true value. Inspection, measurement, and test equipment should be calibrated to recognize standards to improve accuracy. This slide shows the relationship between precision and accuracy. The lower left target provides the best scenario. Good precision shown by the tight cluster and good accuracy shown by the marks on target. Take a moment to review the other three examples to see how precision and accuracy relate to each other. There are six components of variation. These are often referred to as the five M's and E. By performing a measurement system analysis, or gauge r and we will begin to uncover the sources of variation. The gauge r and will break down this observed variation into two categories, the measurement system and the process. The most important takeaway from this module will be understanding that how we collect and measure the data is critical. The data that we observe has variation from the process and from the method by which we collect it. By analyzing the sources of variation, we will be able to identify the causes of variation and work to reduce and eliminate them. We'll now ask you to take part in an experiment that we have conducted throughout the world. This is not an actual gauge r and although this will provide you with a basic understanding of the components of variation. You'll need a stopwatch. Perhaps your digital watch has this feature. Green belts who have attended our program receive stopwatches along with other class materials. We've provided a file on our website, www.lean2020.com, for your use. Once you've downloaded the file, you will need to watch the helicopter drop video and enter your times for each of the four flights as timer one. You may also replace the other timers data with data from those who watch the video with you or use data posted on our YouTube video by other viewers. To find the video on YouTube, search for Helicopter Gauge r and or visit our YouTube profile Lean2020RI and select from our videos. Watch closely and record each of the four flights or drops, then enter your data into the Excel file. Don't forget to post your data on YouTube for others to use. Here's an example of what your data, entered as timer 1, may look like. In this example, each drop or flight represents our process. The difference in time from flight 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 is the process variation. The four timers represent the measurement system variation. Where is the most variation coming from? On the bottom right, you will see variation displayed as standard deviation. The larger this number, the greater the variation. The results of an actual gauge on R will provide valuable direction for variation reduction. The helicopter example was not an actual gauge on R but rather a way to show that total variation can be put into two categories, process and measurement system. This slide shows an actual output from a gauge r and Statistical software such as Minitab combined with additional training will enable you to perform your own gauge r and and save time and money by reducing variation. Here is a cause and effect diagram, also known as a fishbone diagram, showing the components of variation. 5Ms and an E. 
Remember, the key to performing a gauge r and r is to use the output to work on the element that is contributing the most variation. Don't spend a lot of time working on your process when the measurement system is your biggest problem. Consider our free online white belt program to learn how the tools of Six Sigma, Statistics, and Lean combine to form a powerful operational excellence program. We've included our white belt certification test in the Excel file you've downloaded. Use this as you watch the four white belt program videos. Links are at www.lean2020.com. To earn your white belt certification, you'll need to take the online test. Good luck. We hope that you found this video informative. Contact us at Robbins International. We'll help you to better understand your processes and the sources of your variation.